all right guys so this is pretty simple but I had to show you my room I recently updated and uh, moved to a new room and man oh man I don't know it's something about this game that's just so nice I, I put all these uh, different animals in it actually just because I feel like you know me and a monster hunter why not you gotta have different aquatic monsters and uh, creatures of the wild you know but this view though like this view I can't really go too far here it's my pond I got a couple fish you know one one big one back there he's kind of he's kind of recluse so he's he's coming to the front you know a couple small ones here and there I gotta get some more apparently there's rare fish that you can catch but something about this 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 whole thing is just serene oh yeah and there's like a little whatever the hell that is a little angler frog or something like that you can sit down and kind of chill you know what I mean and oh Apparently you can feed the fish. That's dope. I didn't I didn't know you could do that. So you could do that, you know? Like, oh man. For anybody that is on the fence or might be considering this game, I definitely think you should do it. Definitely get it. Cause I'm I'm finding new little tidbits and trinkets here and there that I'm just falling in love with day by day, you know. Okay. I will say this though. The combat can get repetitive you will fight monsters numerous times over and over again to get armor sets that you want but but it's still fun because the the randomness in the battles is well it's random you know you can't really predict what will happen from one second to the next I mean sure there's predictability in the monsters fighting styles but as far as different monsters that may interfere while you're fighting that initial monster you're hunting you really don't know what's going to happen I've been fighting several monsters all kinds of monsters and the most monsters that I've encountered like uh, say I'll give you an example the T-Rex or the, I forgot what it's called I fight the T-Rex all the time that's like my nemesis on here right and I find that between me fighting him from time to, from time, to time the Rathos, Rathos, and these different little dragons will come. You know, they just interfere, you know, and then try to give me hell. And most of the time, I let the monsters kind of duke it out between each other. And then I'll just, you know, after one's tired of beating the other one up, then I'll make my move. But, yeah. With that being said, if you're thinking about getting the game, don't think about it. Just get it. You won't regret it, especially if you like the whole open world well it's not open open world but it's semi open world I'll put it like that the levels are pretty big and um you'll find enjoyment out of it because they're so vibrant with life and wildlife you know there's ants fish you got different types of bugs insects and birds and not to mention the uh predators you know at any rate, I didn't mean to make this like a rant talk or about the game and reviewing it, but it turns out that's what it was about or what it turned into. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you my room and show you my different little my little animals, you know, and how they, they upgrade, upgraded me to first class. Sorry, I'm just stumbling all over my words because I'm actually kind of excited to just talk about it because it's just, it's brand new. It's brand new to me and I'm just thrilled to see see such a vibrant game at any rate i'm gonna end it right here that's all i had to say enjoy